All right, we're sitting here with uh, Mike Clark uh, with uh, Suicidal Tendencies. How's it going tonight? It's going good. How you guys doing? Good, man. Right. So you guys uh, just you got that? Uh, just started your uh, join the army deja vu tour. Right. How's that going? It's so going far? good. It's going really good. Started up in Europe and then right. just came back to the states on the fifteenth, I believe. Right. Right. Yeah, Over in Reno, how'd that show yeah, go? Yeah, Reno was crazy. <laughs> like the people. Right on. Believe it or not. Yeah, I mean, every show, that, I think this is our seventh show at night. Every show has just been slamming, playing a lot of old stuff off of uh, Join the Army, playing some No Mercy stuff, and, and some suicidal hits, and just putting it all together, and it's going really good. So how'd the San Francisco show go? San Francisco is awesome. They always are. Yeah, I love the Fillmore, too. The Fillmore is such a great venue, and people just go nuts, man. And, San Francisco is definitely a highlight too. Yeah, it should be. So, uh, the European tour was with Infectious Grooves. Are right, you yeah, involved with that as well, no, or what do you? Uh, uh, Dean is. Dean, Dean is okay. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to be. Are they going to be doing any tunes tonight yeah, from the Infectious Grooves no, stuff? No, they're not. Oh, it's just because I know they were doing both in Europe. Right. I was just wondering if it was going to come over here. Yeah, and this is a straight suicide. Strictly, tour. right on. Yeah, he got us. He gave us a check, right? No. Uh, for, for the, uh, yeah. Yeah, you had a recent uh, DVD uh, live at the yeah, Olympic the Auditorium, the, your most recent yeah, so DVD. Right. Uh, how'd that go? That went great. Uh, the thing is, um, yeah, it was the last gig ever at the, been the been Olympic. Been, uh, we played there many times, but uh, it was special yeah, to us because yeah, it was the last like, gig they're ever going to have or there. Or uh, the Korean yeah. church bought it and said, that's it. Cool. We're turning it into some kind of temple. So yeah. to have the so, privilege to do that, you know, that place is chock full of history. It was awesome. It was amazing. You know, and it meant a lot to all of us. So. The DVD, I mean, I think it bleeds right through you. I wish you should have been at that show, you know what I mean? Yeah, no so, doubt. Was, was there cool. any new material that you put, had put on there? Yeah, yeah, we did. Did a few new tunes. Oh, that, no, that Some new tunes off the... Off the record that's coming out next year. Oh, okay. What's yeah. what's that going to be called? Uh, not sure yet. Oh, too early to say. Yeah, too early to <laughs> so say. So you have written some material, though? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. Okay. Good. Sounds good. Cool. And uh, I know ST recently teamed up with bands with a clothing line and shoes and all that types of shit. How'd that come about? Well, it's um, basically, we've been around for a long time. Uh, since we were kids, we've all been wearing bands and stuff. And uh, they approached us, with, you know, you want to do a tribute shoe and all that. Like, hell yeah, you know. I mean, you know, love your shoes, you know, good friends with everybody over there, so. Are you getting paid? made a lot of sense, you know. Are you getting paid? Get the shoes, you get paid. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, and they have uh, something that's coming out, like a possessed to skate deck coming soon. What's that all about? It's here, it's at the merch booth. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What exactly is that, for we those of us who don't know? We have a new style skate, you know, with the double rounded kick hands, and then mm -hmm. we have the old school the original like 1986 87 right. model which is an old school kind of fish you know mm -hmm. a little bigger from the 80s and uh got two styles available and they, they kick ass man right right on so you, you guys uh started off uh the, in europe uh doing the tour and then uh just recently did some dates in uh this this month early is this month south america chile and that was Really cool, you know. Kick ass down there. Yeah, it's a lot crazy. of fans. It just seems like the European shows are much more uh, energetic, or just I don't know, just more into it. Seems yeah, like there's just think, more. I think over there, music means a little more to people, you know. And even down in South America and stuff, it's like more of a. It's not like just going to a show. It's more like a, an event that they plan for months right. in advance. Right. It's not so just. You know, nonchalant to them. It's to them. It's really like you know. And I mean, I wish that was like that here, but I. What I understand, it's just so yeah, crazy, cool. so much stuff to do. You know, it's like. Yeah. You know, you do. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It's a suicidal show, so. That's right. <laughs> Always notice you know, Bay Area shows are, okay. you know, about the closest yeah, you get too, to yeah, Europe, man. you know, cool. and stuff because it's just a lot of the, you know, and you get. Vegas, I don't know, something, I don't know. Vegas is Vegas, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I guess there's so much entertainment to choose from. I guess we get spoiled at, Dude, at a point, you know? You know, Wayne Newton might be playing tonight. You know? Come on. Why <laughs> well, no Steel Panthers playing after oh, that? Dude. It's God. like cover. Great, man. I'm going to like this. Nah, 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 nah. No comment. 
no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's funny. But um, so yeah, you all you have those festivals and stuff, and and uh, the last release was uh, 2009, I believe. So we're getting ready to, like you said, you're going to release something next year. You said. Right. Well, yeah. we actually just came out with the. Uh, with that DVD. Army, okay. Join the Army Deja Vu too. That's a 2010. Right there. Okay. And then sometime next year. I'm not sure. Sometime next year. So, um, well, that's good. So, what do you guys got planned for uh, coming up in 2011? Um, I'm sure, you guys got something booked. Yeah, got some tours coming up. You know. Hellfest and all that crap over, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. We'll see. Hopefully, yeah, those are always great. You know, so. You guys get the calls for those uh, tours, or how does that go about? Do you yeah, guys yeah, go fishing for that? You get requests. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it feels real good. Yeah, no shit. To be included with all sure. those famous bands and stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. It seems like uh, most of the, the the good tours and stuff are over yeah. over there, yeah. you know. But uh, yeah, they get it together a little better over there. Anyway. Yeah, it seems to be. Did you guys play that Sonosphere or yeah. over there? Did you? That's pretty cool. So uh, what what do you got uh, coming up? Any any vi new videos coming up? Um, well, we've been doing some filming, so we're putting some together. Yeah, definitely. For the Deja Vu for record this tour for the European, and then also for our updates, weekly updates online on our website. Yeah, tweets and all that shit. We don't you do got tweets. all that. We don't do tweets. You don't do tweets, yeah. right on. We do do a weekly update of the tour. Okay. Which is cool. Which is on suicidaltendencies.com. You know. So awesome. You can always like. You know, if we come to town, you know, flip on there and see what's coming, you know. <laughs> yeah, right Basically, on. it's an update of every three shows, so it's pretty cool. Well, that's good. Yeah. So you got the, the new website going. It's kind of a new design, I guess, going on. Sure. Pretty cool. Yeah. So, who's doing that? I am. Are you? Right on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got, you know, lots of people that work with us. They're always giving us stuff and ideas, so, you know. Yeah. We saw the family, you know, helping out. That's cool. Yeah. So after some new videos, you, have they approached you for any uh, uh, the rock band type uh, video game type shit? Uh, we've been on a couple of rock bands, you know. Mm-hmm. It's cool. We'll Whatever they got, is, bring know? it on, right? Basically. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just check it out first and see if, you know, if it's... It's feasible. Yeah, make some money, it's, possibly. Yeah, whatever, but, you know, it's more like... If it fits in with our thing, and if we fit in with their thing, you know. So you're not just taking a lot of stuff, just just nah, to the fact nah, of nah, taking nah. it. Okay, so you, you you do get a lot of offers that you refuse, or sure. huh? Like what? What, for instance? I can't just name anything, but something that's just not gonna like. Not you, you you guys are like, nah, we're not gonna get involved. It's, with it's too not, cheesy it's or not, whatever. Yeah, it's not any, it doesn't even matter. It's just it's not like our style or whatever. Or, what we're all about, it's not gonna happen. No matter what. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, some bands won't, uh, you know. There you go. Buddy. And so, uh, how's it going with the label and stuff? Going good? It's going great. Yeah. They treating you okay? They're promoting you and shit like that? Yeah, we run it, so it better be. <laughs> Yeah, no shit, huh? You guys are doing all the work? Yeah. You got street teams and shit yeah, out there yeah, pumping it? Definitely. Got to take it back to the streets. Gotta, yep. That's the only way you get it out there. Yeah. Well, um, well, thanks for taking the time out with cool. postcoffin.com, man. Bro. I appreciate it, you know? Right, yeah, so we'll talk to you later. Okay.